So hi guys, welcome to episode 11 of the Arsenal Save in FM20 and I made a big boo-boo in the last episode because it was not the last episode because in fact this is the last episode of the season, not the series, the season we're going to carry on this beta series that we started um, because it's worked so well I'm sure you guys have enjoyed it because we've had some fantastic views and new subscribers along with it um, but yeah, I wanted to say I made a boo-boo because that was not the last game. I completely forgot that we were playing in the Europa League Cup Final against Bayer Leverkusen. So, make sure you stick around and watch the episode. So that's right, guys. But before we get into the Cup Final, I wanted to go through a few things that are flashing up on my screen right now. The first being that we have recorded a record low number of league draws uh, as a team because we only drew three games all season obviously we've won the league guys if you haven't seen it make sure you check out the previous episode um ended it in style sock saturday style episode absolutely love filming it bobby g murray Minter, thank you very much for helping me out if you haven't followed them guys make sure you do legends uh, but let's get back into this episode guys because i wanted to show you some of the things that popped up lacazette has been named Footballer of the year. He scored 28 goals in 33 games. Only three assists, but a 7.81 rating. I'm going to congratulate him. Superb job, Alex. You're a legend. I'll see you next year. Fantastic. Lacazette also claims the player's player of the year. Again, the same stats. So I'm not going to read them off again, but he's been absolutely superb this season. He scored an unbelievable amount of goals in the 91st, 92nd, 93rd, 94th, 95th minute. He does it in real life as well, absolute legend. But, Players Player of the Year, another award for him. Lacazette also getting the top goalscorer award in the Premier League. He pipped Harry Kane to that award, scored six more goals than him. One less assist, but six more goals. And Pepe was only one goal away from Harry Kane as well. We had two people in the top three. Superb performance by Pepe in his first season as a winger, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next year. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a Golden Glove award. Edison getting that. 21 conceded in 38 games. 27 clean sheets. I can't I'd see on there. I know I've repeated it somewhere before. Alisson, Bert Leno, both playing well. Only a 6.93 rating, though. Another award for us. This time it goes to me. Manager of the Year award. Of course. 38 games. 84% win rate. In your face, Alex Ferguson. I'm coming for you. 949 points. That doesn't matter right now. Maybe later on in the save. But Sir Chips Cheswick. Kewis. Kips Ches Keswick. Yep, you know what I mean. He's happy with me. Superb. It was a superb season for Arsenal. Aside from a short spell early in the season, around September when we dropped to fifth, you have surpassed expectations and clinched the title. Yes, we have. Players Team of the Year. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven players in Team of the Year. But how many of them players will be at the club come the end of the season? I don't think there's going to be that many. Xhaka, potentially, we're going to get rid of him. Albama Young, potentially going to get rid of him. Lacazette, I'm going to keep. Socrates, potentially going to go. He's 31 years old. David Luiz, potentially going to go. He's 32 years old. So, big changes there. Other players in it. Edison, De Bruyne, Joe Gomez... And Alexander-Arnold. If we could get Alexander-Arnold, that would be superb. Maybe even let Bellerin go then as well. Um, Lacazette dedicates his award to me for being the reason. Of course. Well, thank you, Alex. But it was all you. you done the hard work. I think that's it. And there's a potential issue with Mustafi. He wants more games. Fuck off, mate. Now, as I said, this episode, we are in the cup final of the Europa League. But how do we get there? Well, we dominated the group stages. We won all six games. We had Wolfsberger, uh, Dynamo Zagreb and Espanyol in our group. We won all six games. We didn't concede a single goal. We then had Celtic in the first knockout stage. We beat them 3-1 on aggregate. We then knocked out Valencia 6-2 on aggregate. Um, and beat Istanbul in the quarterfinal 5-1 on aggregate. Then we played Torino. The Torino game was epic. That's only one word that I can describe for that. We won the first leg 2-1. Lacazette Sabias between Raphael's goal. 2-1, an important away goal for them. But it looked like we were going through 2-1 in the second leg of that semi-final. It was 0-0, but Socrates, the Greek bastard, got himself sent off in the 74th minute. 
And two goals in two minutes for Torino made it look like they were going to go through. 3-2. Zazo and then Saudi with the goals there. But Lacazette with another late goal in the 88th minute. Bang. Made it 2-1. The game was going into extra time. But Pepe had other things on his mind. He wasn't going to let that happen. And bang a minute later, he stuck the ball in the back of the net. We draw 2-2 away to Torino to send us into the final of the Europa League. But how did they get there? Now, they didn't play in any group games because they were originally in the Champions League, but they got knocked out. They had Olympiacos in the first knockout round. They beat them 10-1 on aggregate. Leverkusen have scored quite a few goals. And defensively, they are very good. They've only conceded in two games out of those eight. Um, they beat Espanyol, the team that we knocked out as well. They beat them 3-2 on aggregate. They beat Sporting 4-0 on aggregate. Good result there. And then they went back to Portugal for Sporting's rivals in FC Porto. A 0-0 draw made a second leg very tough, but they managed to pick up a 1-0 win. Diaz was sent off, but that was already after Leverkusen took a 1-0 lead from Aaron Guiz, a player we need to watch out for. Very good player, but he's a defensive midfielder. And I want to have a quick look at their playing squad and the tactics they're going to use. So they're going to go for a 4-3-3, essentially. 4-1-2-2-1, if you want to call it that one. And they've got some very good players. Lars Bender, normally a defensive mid midfielder. But obviously, Aaron Guiz is... Well, Aaron, I can't even speak now. Aaron Guiz is in that position. So Lars Bender has moved over to right back. His brother Sven is either on the bench or in somewhere in the squad. But he's not playing. Sven Bender. Two players that were linked with Arsenal in the past. Jonathan Tarr. player that we nearly bought but we decided no. We'll let him go. He's got good pace. Uh, he's still got a lot to learn though. 24 years old. 28 million is quite cheap, to be fair. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, Kai Havertz is norm normally a striker or attacking midfield. He's playing in centre midfield, uh, but he's a very good player. We're going to scout him, but we know how good he is. Off the ball, 16. Vision, 18. Look at that. Vision, 18 for a 24-year-old. That is a 24-year-old? 20-year-old. It's crazy. Excellent player. Paulino and Bailey. Everyone knows Bailey. I know Bailey very, very well. Done superb for me in FM work. And then they got Ilario up front. 27 Argentinian. Good finishing. Good at heading. So it's likely they're going to potentially get him uh, balls in the box. Uh, he's not very quick though. And he's quite cheap as well. Uh, but Bailey and Paulinho are definitely players that we need to look out for. And more news coming out of the club. Obviously, Raul, Edu and Vinay and what's-his-face. They all look after the players' contracts. I don't deal with that. And we've signed some players to, uh, to bigger contracts here. Mill Smith-Rowe. Has signed a new four-year contract worth 15 million. Not bad for a 19-year-old wonder kid, eh? Torreira, he's been given a new contract, a five-year deal worth 33 million. Now that one I'm not too sure of because potentially um, he hasn't played that great this season. He is a good player. He has got the potential to get better. Um, he's not been superb, but eight assists, three goals, not too bad. Um, we'll see how he gets on. I. He's, he's going to be an expensive sub, I think, because I don't think he's going to be in my first team just yet. Um, who else? Lacazette. Lacazette has been offered a new contract. 195k a week. Star player. Three-year deal worth 35 million. So if you thought Torreira's was a good deal, this is an even better one. He's like 12 million a season. Superb for him. Um, and again, Mustafi is moaning that he wants to... To have more matches, but you're going, mate. You're going your shit. Um, although he's not played too bad in this series. He's not played too bad, but he has made a few mistakes, as he does in real life. Um, but enough of this talking, guys. You guys want to see this cup final. So let's go to the tactics. Now, after my little boo-boo in the previous episode, guys, um, this is actually another chance where you get to name my lovely 2-2-2-2-2 formation. And sorry, Bobby G, I'm not picking apples. No, I'm not. Um, this is the chance, and I know I've had a bit of stick off social media for this, saying, oh, it's a 4-2-3-1. Yes, it may look like a 4-2-3-1, but originally I had it as a 4-4-2, and I just dropped him down deeper just to accommodate Ozil. Initially, this is what it was. Hence why I asked about the 2 2 formation. I should have posted a proper picture rather than the one I did. My bad. My mistake. But I'm trying to name this lovely formation so we could put it on Steam because it's worked. We've won the league. We're potentially going to do the double because we're in the cup final. We lost in another cup final so we could have done the treble and we've got a, not the best team to be fair. If we had a better team then we could be fucking dominating. But now's a chance. Leave it in the comments section guys. 
What should I name? This is the last chance on this video to name this before um, I start putting it together and putting it available on Steam. I've had quite a lot. I've had a lot of names, to be fair. A lot of ideas. I loved all of them. There's been some fantastic ones. Um, I like Noah's Ark because it's two, 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 two. Um, although I'm not that religious, um, but I do like that one. I, I think it looks like a figure of eight. So I like figure of eight. But then there's some other ones. It hurts my eyes. I've heard people say maybe that one, but I don't know. I, I want to find a, a nice, catchy name, put it on Steam, so you guys have access to it and can download it and try it in your saves to see how you get on with it. Um, but again, before I run through these tactics, guys, make sure you hit that like button for me. It massively helps the channel, helps the video get seen. Um, I'm still aiming for the previous video. If you haven't seen it, link is above up here somewhere. Um, I'm still aiming to try and get 50 likes. If I can get 50 likes on that previous video, I will do the Iron Brew Challenge with Murray Minter 75. If you want to see me try and down five bottles of Iron Brew in five minutes, then make sure you hit the like button on the previous episode. Go on, do it. You know you want to. However, if you guys want to see if I can beat Badlands Chugs, who done four bottles of Iron Brew in 29 seconds, I'm aiming to do five in under his time of 29 seconds. That's right, 29 seconds to do five bottles of Iron Brew. If you think I can do it, or if you think I can't do it, but you want to see it, then make sure you go to the previous episode, guys. I keep on saying it, and hit that like button. We need 100 likes for me to take on Badlands Chugs. 50 to take on Murray Minter, so make sure you do it. And while you're at it, hit the like button on this episode as well, because one, you like the formation, two, you want to hit that like button and free because it helps me and um, it helps the video get seen and I really appreciate it guys. And if you're new around here and you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I uh, just want to say thank you again to all the new subscribers. A fantastic amount of joy. I think over the last month we've seen 100 new subscribers. Um, it's been very, very good. Uh, I really, really appreciate it again. But into today's lineup. This is what we're going for. We've got Leno in goal. Holden and Louise at the back. Socrates is suspended. He can't play. Bellerin, Tierney as the wing-backs. Torreira, new contract for him. Versus Guendouzi. Guendouzi is the guy that's going to get Kai Havertz and take him out this game. Saka, Pepe on the wings. Edouard and Lacazette up front. Aubameyang is not fully fit. He's got 50% match sharpness, so he is on the bench. Willick, Sabias, um, Mustafi... Martinez on the bench there. I was going to play Martinez, but I want to win this cup. I'm not going to make the mistake I did against Everton. I want to win this cup. I'm going for my strongest team. I'm sorry, Martinez. I know I've played you in every cup game, but now is the time to win something. Reese Nelson, Klasnach, Smith Rowe, Ozil, Maitland Niles, Granit Xhaka, and Chambers make up the rest of the bench. Ozil on the bench. He has been playing superb football recently. Um, he's I, actually, I'll take that back. His form has dropped. 6.78, no goals, one assist. That's why he's fucked off. Onto the bench, and I've gone for two up front again. Hopefully it will work in this formation. In this formation? In this game. Let's go over to it. So a quick update of the Bayer Leverkusen um, tactic. Lost my train of thought there. Because um, it has changed slightly. They've, they, they, well, they've kept the same tactic. The lineup has changed. Wendell at left back. Sven Bender has come in at centre back to play with Jonathan Tarr. Um, Havertz. Demir Bray is in the side. Polinio, Bailey, and Kevin Volland up front as well. So a few changes there. Now is the chance to win some silverware. I, I'm going to skip the next bit because you know there's going to be a, a, a tunnel interview. And we have got the first highlight of the game so far. Tierney has the ball on the left hand side. He's running into centre place. A long ball over top. Look for Lacazette. He's through. And he can't score. He can't beat the keeper. He keeps the ball in though. Another chance here. Saka whips the ball across. And Bellerin is a good save by the keeper. And it's hat clear by DeMarbre. And a good start. Well, not a good start. But the best chance of the game for him so far. There's only been five shots in the game. But Kerem with a free kick for Leverkusen. Jonathan Tarr. The ex-Arsenal transfer target heads the ball straight into the arms of Leno. It's still nil-nil here in the final. But Pepe has the ball now. It looks for Lacazette. He's free in the middle. Finds Saka. Saka driving run into the middle. And that was an awful finish. Awful. Awful finish by uh, Bakai Saka. Short goal kick taken 
by Leverkusen. Sven Bender looking for Vendel. Vendel has lost the ball. Gwenduzi. Great play by Gwenduzi. Drive and run. His cross is blocked. Polino picks it up. But he's lost the ball again. Bellerin with a good tackle. But he's injured himself in the process. And now Volland is on the attack for Leverkusen. Bellerin is still down. Is that a penalty? It looks like the ref has given the penalty against Torreira. And Arsenal could be losing 1-0 here. Ranguiz, who scored in the semi-final, has given them a 1-0 lead. Are we going to lose in the Europa League Cup final, people? I can't believe it in the words of Victor Meldrew. Bellerin made a good tackle. He got injured. They played on, took advantage of the space. And they now got a chance to make it 2-2 with a free kick for Kerem. Kai Havertz has the ball. Whips the ball in. And Paulinho, surely he was offside. Surely he was offside. Referee. And the goal is allowed. We're going to see that again. Kai Havertz picking on the ball. Paulinho literally... Oh no, the defenders stepped up too late there. We are losing 2-0. Can we get a goal for half-time? David Luiz to Torreira. Long ball over top looking for Pepe. Wendell brings it forward. Paulinho now driving run. Bellerin is still injured. He's just standing there. Guendouzi wins the ball back. Is there a chance for Arsenal here? Pepe. Long ball over top looking for Lacazette. Lacazette taking on Sven Bender. He plays it back to the goalkeeper. And um, Leverkusen are bringing the ball forward now. Demarbre. Long ball over top. Look at Volland. What is the defence doing there? And it's just gone wide. I can't believe it. I'm going to make the change here. We need to make a substitute. Bellerin is injured. Maitland Niles is going to come on for the injured Bellerin. But we have a chance now. Pepe drive and run. Great save by Hradeke. Corner now. Come on, guys. Let's get back in to the game before half time. Going very attacking now. The header from Rob Holden has gone over the bar. And I, I can't believe what is happening in this game so far. We've struggled for possession in the opposition's half. So I'm going to be aggressive. Your pride is at stake. Go to tactics. Edouard has been awful. I'm going to bring on Meza Ozil. He's not done anything so far this um, in the last five games, to be fair. But we need something to happen. I'm going to put... I'm just going to take that off completely. I'm going to whack that on low. On the play standard there, that's fine. On the play a higher, higher line. Let's see what happens now in this second half. We need, we're very attacking. We need to get an early goal back in this half. Ozil looking for Maitland Niles. Whips the ball across, and it's a poor cross to be fair. The keeper makes an easy save, and he plays it short again. Jonathan Tarr. Lars Bender playing as a right back with a superb long ball. Leno surely going to get it. I thought he was going to say he was outside the box there. Good throw. Torreira. Great first time cross to Torreira. To Tierney, sorry. Whips it across. And Ozil has scored. He's done nothing in the last five games, but somehow he's scored a goal there. It's his 11th of the season. Let's have another look at that. Great touch by Torreira. Fantastic first time ball to Tierney. Tierney with a good drive and run. His cross hit the back of Sven Bender, I think it was. Fell to Ozil. Ozil tucked the ball into the back of the net. And it's... Arsenal 1, Bay never cushion 2 with 35 minutes to go. We've got a free kick now with Pepe whipping the ball in. It's headed clear. Louise picks it up on the edge of the box. Looks for Ozil to Louise. Ozil, don't lose the ball. Keep hold of it. Louise, back to Ozil. Torreira, Tierney, Torreira, Guendouzi. Good. Well, I thought that was a good ball, but it wasn't. And uh, Volland's now driving run, but Torreira, fantastic tackle. It's played through to Pepe. Pepe! Oh! What the hell was that? 34 minutes left to go. It's, <laughs> we're really starting to control this game. But much like in real life, we cannot score. Paulinho, drive and run forward. Volland, switch it out. They're open on the right-hand side. Wendell. Great save by Bernd Leno there. Maitland Niles. Oh, he's being ripped apart at the moment, but Volland has headed the ball over the bar. And it's end to end stuff so far. Nine shots each. Half an hour to go, and another chance for Arsenal. We're holding, looking with the throw in for Ozil. Long ball by. Oh, that's it's through. Let go! Oh my god, I thought that was going to go in. Torreira over corner now. Holding can't do anything. Ozil, edge of the box. Driving run. 
I'll put it over. I might have to take off Saka because he has been poor so far. Who to take off though? Aubameyang, last chance. Reese Nelson. I'm gonna bring on Reese Nelson. Play him as an inside forward. Let's see what we can do here. 22 minutes to go. Can we find an equaliser? Ozil. David Luiz plays it back to Bernd Leno. Leno. To Holden. Looking for another long ball and finds Pepe again. Good tackle by Wendell. And Paulinho now with a drive and run forward. Looking for Leverkusen. Can he make it 3-1? Good defending by Arsenal. Every time that happens, I swear the ref's going to give a penalty. Maiden Niles trying to head it clear, but it's still Kai Havertz on the ball. Wendell, Havertz, Wendell. Good pass and play by the uh, Leverkusen players. Oh, and Kevin Volland with an absolute beauty. Super strike. Headed down by Bailey and Volland with a fantastic strike. I cannot believe we've defended so badly in this game. Another chance for Leverkusen. Bailey on the ball. Tierney with a good tackle. Plays it to Ozil. Torreira, long ball out to look for Nelson. Can he get the ball in the box? He can. Pepe's there, but he's headed it over. Again, a missed chance. We have dominated this game. We've had so many chances, but we just can't hit the target. I'm going to do a shout out. Demand more. What the hell? What's happened there? Is it a goal? Is it not? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even know what's going on here. A long ball over the top. And apparently it was offside. I thought that was on, to be fair, but I didn't even see it, first of all. Corner now. Torreira whips it in. Headed down. Holding. It's got us back in the game. It's 3-2. It's the 89th minute. It should be 3-3, you fucking bar. But can we get a late, late equaliser to send it into extra time here? Can we finish the season with a double? I don't think it's going to happen, people. And there you have it. We have lost the final. 3-2. Tried to come back into it. I switched it around. I put it onto more passing. Higher tempo. Really attacking. Um, a fantastic goal by Kevin Volland. Some poor defending, though, by the defence. And again, a reason why we need to improve our defence. Holding was man of the match. Probably because he got a goal back. Uh, more so than his defending. Luis was poor. We do need to get rid of him. Leno, maybe I should have played Martinez in goal. Maybe I should have. Maitland Niles came in for the injured Bellerin. Ever since Bellerin got injured, that's when it went downhill. Pepe was awful. He was really supposed to be up for this game, but he got a 6.1 rating. He was our worst, worst player. And uh, what can I say? I'm disappointed. We finished the season not on a high we really... Well, it wasn't a penalty. The ref was being harsh. I'm just... I'm disappointed. And there you see it. Leverkusen have lifted the Europa League. That is the end of the season. I don't want to see anything else now, guys. We're going to come back at the start of next season in episode 12. What's the day today? That will be on Tuesday. So um, make sure you stick around for that. And uh, I will see you guys then. Thank you very much. As always, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And, um, yeah. Hopefully, when we can get some better players in, we can perform better than we've done this season. Which is not too bad, to be fair, considering currently Arsenal are always 5th, 6th. Relegation zone right now. Um, but we've taken over. We've won the league. Only playing two centre-backs. We've got to the final of the League Cup. We've got to the final of the Europa League. I'm just hoping that next season few new players in hopefully Raul can do us justice and get rid of some of the dead wood and bring us in some quality players uh, but if you want to see who we do who we do get in stick around and I'll see you Tuesday take care guys